Well, uh, this year was one ride. So to start the year off, we had Logan Paul at it, uh, with the whole Boris thing. Yup. Then came the January memes where people were asking where was the way and if they touched their spaghetti. And the whole Shane Dawson incident and that whole controversy ended very early with one video that Shane posted. And I'm I was I'm a fan of Shane and when I heard of this controversy I was a hundred percent knew that it was on Nugget Doo Doo. And talking about Shane and his Tanacon series and yeah Tanacon was a was a thing and then his other documentary series with Jake Paul and uh, that was an eight part series that altogether had over 150 million views in his graveyard series uh, which he hyped up for over two episodes but I still liked it and KSI and Logan Paul fight that happened in February which I watched and I voted for KSI because I hate Logan Paul with the core of my nugget. And uh, Ninja Boy got nice and famous and every single brand exploiting him for money. And the Infinity War movie came out and literally nobody could keep spoilers from anybody. I literally didn't watch the movie until August and by then I already knew basically all but the original Avengers died. So when I actually saw it. I didn't care anything that they died because I already knew about it. And Thanos' snappy fingers meme, which, um, beautiful memes. Speaking of Infinity War, Fortnite. Now, I like Fortnite, but the community of all toxic eight-year-olds, um, saying, PUBG sucks, H1Z1 sucks, oh, Fortnite, take the L, take the L. Uh, yeah, I almost don't want to say I play Fortnite, but I do. So, yeah. And of course, all the natural disasters that happened this year, from the hurricanes to the wildfires in California, that happened. Uh, I feel sorry for anybody that were involved and their family. And uh, speaking about video games, Red Dead Redemption 2. But I know nothing about it, so skip. Yanni and Laurel was a thing. And uh, for anybody that says it's Yanny, it's not. It was it was proven a fact that it was Laurel. So um, <laughs> shut up. And Child Childish Gambino was a great artist this year. And um, my favorite song from him this year was "It Feels Like Summer," uh, being my favorite song from him this year. And uh, some memes were um, lamp, moth. And the, uh, is this blank meme, which um, I'm pretty sure everybody have seen by now, and calcium. Uh, Russia happened this year, so a skip. Pokemon with the Let's Go games and Detective Pikachu movie, which uh, I'm probably gonna watch. We're probably not, so uh, I don't really care. Sprite Cranberry. Gar Cardi B was a nice artist, but I don't really like her music. Uh, I'm not saying that it's bad, it's just not my type. And uh, the lives we lost this year um, from X, Mac Miller, Stephen Hawking, Stan Lee, um, and anybody that I don't say or anything I don't say would be in the description below. So if before I comment something that I missed, uh, check the description because there's some stuff. Some in quotations. Oh, and Black Panther, but I still haven't seen it, so uh, skip. Quadeca, uh, diss track against KSI, and KSI's diss track against Quadeca. Uh, I vote for Quadeca. And YouTube Rewind, but, uh, we know how that ended this year, but it was god-awful. And PewDiePie versus T-Series. Um, man, I want PewDiePie to win, uh, because I like him. I've been liking him for over, like, three years now. So yeah, and with PewDiePie being one of my favorite content creators this year, next to Shane, so yeah, I like him, and uh, the diss track was fire. Meme review! Liza Goshi and David Dobrik broke up, but I don't watch 
neither of them, so I don't care. Skip. And Mr. Beast got popular this year with over a million subscribers this year. And I used to watch Mr. Beast before he got popular with his worst intro series, but he deleted all the videos except one. So, yeah. Is there anything I missed? Surely not.